You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And I am wondering if we're about to see the end of Port Charles lollipop loving bald bad boy Mason Gatlin. I am very interested to see if someone's going to kill him. And if he does go 10 toes up, would it be Sonny or Cyrus that takes care of business? Right now, Mason is suffering the after effects of a couple of gunshots to his back, thanks to Dante Falconeri. He's laying in the bed at General Hospital, but he gets a visitor next week that makes threats. And this might be just the first of at least two people that stop by to make threats. So what I'm wondering is if Mason is going to survive this week on the ABC soap, or is he dead meat? We're going to talk about it, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our general hospital updates. So last week on GH, Mason Gatlin dragged Ava Jerome to the edge of a, like a cliff, waterfall, whatever, a high spot. And he was ready to toss her off on Cyrus Renault's orders. The thing is though, Austin Gatlin Holt pressured Cyrus to let Ava Jerome go because he did what Cyrus asked. He testified to get him out of prison on compassionate leave owing to his medical condition. It was all a big piece of BS set up, but Cyrus is loose. And Ava warned Mason that if Sonny Corinthos finds out that he kidnapped and hurt her, his life will be over. Mason then raged at her. He's so furious that Ava thinks he's garbage, but she's sleeping with his cousin Austin. And then Cyrus called and told Mason, take Ava home in one piece, forget the plan to hurt her. But Mason decided to ignore his boss's orders and kill her anyway because he doesn't want to risk her telling Sonny what he did. And that's when Dex Heller showed up to save her. Mason took some shots at Dex, but that didn't slow him down too much. Then Dante showed up and put two bullets in Mason's back, but he survives, at least for now. So Mason is at General Hospital recuperating from the gunshots and surgery, and next week, this coming week, everything gets really tense. On Tuesday, October 24th, Cyrus threatens someone. I mean, given how foul and cruel that Cyrus is, He could be threatening almost anybody in Port Chuck, let's be real. But there is a spoiler pic that was in the Soap Magazine this week showing Cyrus at Mason's bedside at GH, and he's not looking too happy. So I imagine that Cyrus has some things to say to Mason Gatlin about not following his orders. You know, Cyrus is targeting Sonny, but at the same time, I don't think he wants to be actively on his radar until he's got all his ducks in a row, the information on Pikeman that he wants, and just everything ready before he makes a move. So Mason is now a problem for Cyrus, and the question is whether he would kill Mason to keep him quiet. I have no doubt that Sonny's going to come looking for Mason in retribution for him kidnapping his baby mama, Ava Jerome. And I also doubt that Cyrus would risk Mason blabbing under pressure if Sonny gets a hold of him and interrogates him about why he kidnapped Ava and who told him to do it. I mean, a few people have seen Mason interacting with Austin. They know their cousins. And Sonny knows that Cyrus is pulling strings. So the bottom line is Mason is a loose end that could cause problems for Cyrus Renault. But at the same time, he's also one of Cyrus's top henchmen who would follow his orders to the letter at least until recently, and it came to this Ava situation. So I do wonder if the Pawtuck Hillbilly mob boss will decide to cut his losses and cut Mason's throat. I mean, there's no reason for Cyrus to keep Mason alive anyway because he can't do his dirty work anymore. And you know why? Because Mason's under arrest, and he's likely headed to Pentonville to serve serious time for kidnapping and attempted murder. And if Cyrus can't use him anymore, then Mason is nothing but a risk, nothing but a liability. So I do suspect that Cyrus could 
take him out. I don't know if Cyrus would do it himself or have somebody creep into the hospital disguised as an orderly to like put a drug into his IV. Something, I mean, obviously Cyrus isn't going to literally cut his throat sitting there because he doesn't want to go back to prison when he just got out. But he's got plenty of flunkies at his beck and call. And I do think that Mason's life could be at risk. Now, Mason may notice the person trying to drug him. There may be a fight. I don't know. But I definitely feel like Cyrus is going to make an attempt on his life. But then there's the other question of whether Sonny Corinthos beats Cyrus to the punch. Maybe the Port Charles mob boss would try and kidnap him away from the hospital. That would be a little out of character. But... If he decides to hijack the transport that's taking Mason to Pentonville, that is something that Sonny has done before. Remember, Sonny had Dex hijack the transport that was taking Anna over to Pentonville. Dex actually ended up shot, and that's when Joss took care of him and their relationship really took off. Uh, I don't know if Sonny would use Dex to do it again since he you know, just had that physical altercation with Mason, but... They are probably going to want to get their hands on Mason, get him alone, and torture him to find out why he took Ava, why she was targeted, and they know that he's not the boss behind this whole situation. So I, I don't remember, I don't think that Cyrus, that Sonny has made a complete connection between Cyrus and Mason, but it's close. It, he should be figuring it out any day now. He already knows Cyrus is pulling strings from behind bars, and now that he's loose, he doesn't even have to pull strings. He can just start yanking things around. I mean, it definitely feels like Mason Gatlin needs to pay for nearly killing Ava, and that's certainly something that Sonny would do or have one of his men do for him. But not if Cyrus Renault beats him to the punch to tie up loose ends and make sure that Mason cannot betray him to the Corinthos mob boss. So what I really am wondering is if Mason Gatlin is going to survive this week or is he dead meat on General Hospital? I will say that the actor playing him, Nathaniel Gray, is so good. He plays such a skeevy, villainous creep. He makes my skin crawl every time he's on screen. The same kind of thing with Jeff Kober, of course, who plays Cyrus. They're both so talented, and that's why, you know, they creep you out and they make you hate them is because they're really, really good actors. And if you were wondering if Nathaniel Gray is bald in real life, he's not. He said that G.H., had him shave his head so if you just thought that was his look it's not apparently he's got a nice head of hair not that we've seen it on the abc soap though hey drop your comments below do you think mason is going to survive this week and if not do you think it's going to be sunny or cyrus that takes him out please click a like if you enjoyed this and definitely click subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our general hospital updates spoilers and more thanks for tuning in to talk gh with me every day this has been belinda from soap dirt thanks Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.